Hello everybody, my name is Promise and welcome back to more Rebel Ink Escalation in our Tango Armadillo Brutal Campaign. So between these two maps, I think I'm going to go for the Eastern Barrens. This one should be a little bit harder. Also the Amber Garden surrounded by all these stabilized zones. Might mean we get some really good boosts in the last map. But this one's going to be the hardest. We start with full intelligence, but we lose intel around their controlled zones, which is going to be a lot. So this one will be rough. This one will absolutely be quite rough. Um, between all of these, what do I want? I think I might go for the Smuggler this time around. Because I think we might need a little bit of extra help here. So let's go ahead and grab the Smuggler. Um, now let's see. Starting Intelligence, blah blah blah. Excess funds diminish over time. What we can do is go for, um... Increased chance of them taking casualties is pretty fun. Build garrisons faster, more airstrikes. I think we're gonna go for the garrisons. I think... Drill Instructor will be helpful just to get the National Soldiers going a lot faster. Because I'm going to need to use those to try and knock out zones as quick as we can. Private Donor, start with more money. Realist. Corruption. Increased Effectiveness and Corruption Reduction. I don't think we necessarily need that right now. I think that's fine as is. Let's go for the Private Donor so we can ramp up faster. Higher Support Level is not bad, but I think we're going to go for the Armchair uh, architect. Let's go for the religious leader. And let's go for the village elder to uh, gain bonus support in remote zones. Okay, this is not a bad setup. Smuggler's strong. Um, pretty decent advisors this time around. They've got a few zones under control, and full intelligence certainly is great. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so we want to go for corruption. I don't feel as desperate to get the regional census given that we started with everything. So let's go for um, universal justice and uh, police recruitment. And we're going to roll that out as fast as we can to get loads of security bonuses. I think that's better. Notice how quickly we are losing intelligence though. Jeez. But there's nothing we can do about it until we actually get some military units. So starting with full intelligence basically did nothing there. We're going to go for the PR and media office next. Just trying to go for some extra support uh, as quick as we can. Now, these garrisons over here are okay. Certainly will protect this area. They're mostly going to be running rampant over here, though. I'm worried about this urban area, but we probably can overcome that. Um, go ahead and grab the regional census now. Still not gaining any intelligence over here, though. Yeah. Well, we're gaining some over here, though. So we can overpower this a little bit. No intel available. Okay, we are we are overpowering it a little bit. Slowly but surely, we're getting some of that intelligence. Okay. Um, we will want some corruption reduction, but maybe not right now. People will definitely want water on this map. That is guaranteed. And I'll go for the strategic communications just to ramp that up. Now we save up some money. And we're going to go for a military unit as soon as the option comes available because we need to clear out some of these zones so we're able to continue getting intelligence. I'd like to contain them over here. That may not be possible, but that's what I would like to do. If I can train up both a coalition and a national soldier, I will be very happy with that. All right, now we go for this. We can do both. Perfect. Let's go ahead and clear you out. I thought we had faster training. It's still super slow. Eh, hey, I can't. We found it. Yes, that's so lucky. Okay, destroy that. They're going to spawn over here. That's fine. Let's go up over here. We're going to clear this zone out so we can get intelligence and support. Let's go for some more coalition soldiers. And then maybe garrisons to kind of force them to stay in one spot. I'm going to go over here. Actually, yeah, over here is fine. Let's get the roads under control. Um, we are going to probably pay some people off just to get some supporters. Yeah, I gained some corruption, but the smuggler likes that, right? Okay, so by controlling the road, he's not going to be able to go over here. So now I want to go down here and try to just keep him contained as much as we can. These guys are not training all that much faster, to be honest. It sucks. All right. What do people want? More water, more education, and electricity. Well, I need roads, so I think we're going to make that the top priority. Thank you very much. Actually, another thing we could use is some interpreters and guides. But let's actually get the garrisons. Um, since I know we're going to be deploying garrisons over in this general vicinity. This is just an okay location, but we'll do it. It helps a little bit certainly helps with this to ward off some of his reinforcements. If I can get a coalition, uh, sorry, a national soldier right over here, that'll be pretty good. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to have plenty of reinforcements. Police will be training up everywhere else. We're going to have some pretty good security. Now, I need to reduce that corruption. It's a little high. 
I'm enjoying the extra cash for playing as a smuggler, but yeah, this is going to be fine. Okay, I feel like we're in a good position. We were able to contain them pretty quickly. Finding that camp early on was huge. Very nice advantage for me. This guy's going to reinforce, which means we are fine. Okay. Good, good, good. How many controlled zones are we losing? Eh, we're losing a little bit of control, but honestly, this is the best spot for me. I don't really want to push forward too much more. The garrison support and controlling them from going to the river is pretty big. More national soldiers will help, but let's go for some more corruption reduction. We're at 47%. Okay. Getting a lot of extra security. Stabilizing a few early zones, thanks in part to my garrisons and stuff, but also just being uncontested. I don't expect they're going to spawn a lot of insurgents in these zones over here. Because they have so many under control, I think the map will interpret this as plenty of places to spawn camps, so they don't feel too crazy about it. I would like to get some intelligence over here. That would be nice. Uh, telecommunications would be fantastic, but we also need some more corruption reduction. We're above 51%. That's not good. Um, corruption's cost me a little bit. Insurgent activity, that's going to keep ramping up and becoming a problem, but for right now, we're alright. We're getting a lot of nice support right now. This is fantastic. And all those telecommunications going up, very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. Let's reduce the corruption a little bit faster. Because I just don't want to rely on that. We'll have ways of building up our corruption. Don't worry about that. We're not wasting the smuggler's potential. But I don't want it to cost me too much. Right now, we're doing very nice. Another garrison right here is excellent. That means I feel comfortable pushing forward a little bit more, maybe right here. We'll start containing them a little bit more there. Got intelligence. Let's go here. Okay. Um, let's go for some more water. Let's go for some jobs. I think that's a very, very good way of building up a lot of support. And we don't even need the drones and airstrikes yet. I feel very comfortable with this. This is solid. We reduced one of their zones. Okay. Um, security for a luxury hotel. You always need the security for the hotel. Otherwise, you, if you don't, you are going to get a follow-up event that costs you reputation. It is pretty much guaranteed. Remote uh, out, uh, subsidies will help. Coalition deployment over soon. Not worried about it because I have so much reputation. We will probably keep them anyway. Though we could just train up some more national soldiers. I mean, that's a thing. Um, let's go ahead and get the interpreters and also start rolling out initiatives. Let's purge down some more corruption. To something reasonable. I'm going to go ahead and do a long extension. Honestly, we will gain this much reputation back in like no problem at all by the end. So we'll be well over 100 if we do this. At least once. That way I can save my money for more important things. Such as the Foreign Relations Office, since you know that's going to become a problem. We always have foreign rivals. Gosh dang, you guys are mean. Alright, more security. Yes. Let's ramp that up. That way if I'm wrong and they do spawn somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Hello. Speaking of spawning somewhere else, they did get a camp. I guess they decided that four zones isn't enough. But five? Eh, that was fine before. Let's threaten you to get some reputation. Let's move you over here. Should be okay. Let's just knock this camp out. And they weren't even able to spawn anybody, so that's huge. We do need some reinforcements down here. We are going to accept all refugees to get a huge increase in support level. Just by importing more support, right? That's fine. Let's make these guys faster and give them some strength. Let's roll out initiatives faster as well. Um, I thought this map was going to be very difficult, but we responded well enough that I think it's actually going to end up being one of the easiest maps we've had this entire campaign. This feels about as flawless of a run as we can get, truth be told. And we have so much extra outreach going in these remote areas. It's so good. 7% chance is fine. Fighting over here, no problem. Let's get some more national soldiers going. Let's go for the drones. Wouldn't mind getting some intelligence. Let's see what's going on over here. I want to know how you're doing. I'm going to spy on you. Hello! Uh, let's see. More strength. Don't need it at the moment. Let's go for some more telecommunications and also some land rights. Corruption's again a little high, but it's not going to cost me too much reputation. I just get money from it. There we go. Once some of these zones are stabilized, we move forward again. Or if we can get some more garrisons, we keep pushing forward. Well, speaking of garrisons, there's one right there. So this means we can push forward here and be safe. More subtle pressure, sure. He may want to spawn another uh, camp right here in a little bit, but so far we're doing fine. I'm going to go ahead and try to talk to him and let's start, uh, let's start going toward that peace deal. I think we're actually almost ready to put, go in for the kill. This is going to be a fast map. Really, really fast map. We're already in a pretty darn good position. Now, with this many reinforcements, it turns out he's having a little bit of trouble. Uh, so, some airstrikes with heavy ordnance will make a big difference. Let's go ahead and start rolling out initiatives over here, just so we can do this. Then we'll push forward and try to eliminate some of his reinforcements, so that we are able to do this. Luxury Hotel gets rave reviews! That's cool. I don't care. 
Um, I'm going to keep you. Not a long extension. We probably could have done a short one, actually. And we won that fight despite all his reinforcements. Nice. Got rid of a camp, too. Sweet. Uh, you are banned. And they don't even have the authority to say, oh, we don't want to talk to you anymore. You can't do that. It's not allowed. This is just not allowed. Let's roll out those initiatives. Let's push you forward here. Okay. And let's see. Subtle pressure is fine. We can move you forward a zone, and I'm going to as soon as I think we've got a little bit more control. Let's move you here. This is perfect. This is the best. This is the best map. This is the actual best map. <laughs> I love playing with the smuggler. All right, the smuggler's good. Um, we were able to turn a pretty nasty situation into a pretty darn good situation. Let's go ahead and send you home. Why waste more reputation? I think we're fine. He might spawn a camp here, but we've got a garrison. We'll be able to surround it and kill him in, like, no time flat. Hey, a camp! You know, I did say he might set up a camp there, and what did he do? He did exactly that. Significant funding. Zone supports. Sure. We haven't even gotten the nearby zone stabilized event yet. Uh, insurgents, say you're sorry. And let's go ahead and grab the extra civil support from our garrisons to just help us build up here a little bit faster. This camp shouldn't be able to do anything. There we go. If we move here, the um, garrison will help take me the rest of the way. Police numbers soar by 58%. I didn't read it. Approval? I don't know. Let's go and get some roads. We haven't even bothered with roads yet up to this point. Haven't needed them. Haven't had to move my units much at all. That's just the ideal situation. You quarantine them so well, you barely have to move my units. And you don't have to do any, uh... You don't have to do any, uh... Redeployments and get any roads. Alright. We can now have all of our units get into non-stabilized zones and finish them off and go for a peace deal and this is going to be super duper fast. Now granted he has a lot of guys over here so maybe getting some extra combat strength and more frequent airstrikes would be good but it's still not enough. He is very dead. Let's imprison all of them and uh, the peace deal is going to go really fast now so let's see. We are going to approve with oversight for the new park. We are going to I guess just build a garrison. Why not? And accept the peace deal, and that was fast. It's only like 13 minutes. Woo! Yeah! Feel good about that one. Okay, that leaves only one more map to go. This one will not be super easy, but we're okay. We're doing okay. Five stars. Not as good of a score as I would have expected, to be frank, considering how fast we solved that. Starting with a coalition soldier is awesome, because you can start getting rid of all the um, enemy-controlled zones. However, all of these are good. Gain significantly more income from stable zones is amazing. All of the roads, though. Man, we're going to move so fast. I like the idea of getting this. All right, let's do this for fun. We're going to do the road building, okay? And we are completely surrounded the enemy in the Amber Garden for the next map. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.